Hey besties, it is me and I am going to do a story time video, which I think I'm gonna make this a series of different stories about my life. And this one's on bullying and how I was bullied. Well, I began while I was bused to a white school for a better education because I grew up in the inner city and I still live in the inner city now, which, you know, people look down on the inner city, but you know, my street is very nice and you know, there's a lot of owners of homes and people who take care of their homes. There is some drama on this street, but anywho, so I was put on a bus from sixth grade, I mean, first grade on, and I went to a town um, outside of my neighborhood, like it was majority a white town, kind of like a white Jewish town to go to school. So on this bus was kids from all parts of Boston, like Roxbury, Dorchester, Mattapan, High Park. It, they were from all parts of Boston and um, we'd all get on this bus and the bus would go around, all around Boston and take us to school. So about the fifth or sixth grade, now mind you, we were on this bus, it'd be kids from the first grade to the eighth grade. And the rulers of the bus sat on the back of the bus, like they ruled the bus. And um. The, you know, I kind of sat in the middle of the bus. I had my little friends. And at the time, you know, I always, I never had a whole bunch of friends or I never really felt popular. Actually, I've never really been popular per se. And I always thrive for that. Like everybody else, you know, watching these little teen movies and little kitty movies about the most popular people. And there was this girl, you know, she was a lot older and she was big and a bully like she would pick on people selectively right so I uh, at the time there was this TV show out called Punky Brewster I know I'm dating myself and it was Soli Moon Fry and she had these weird color clothes and different colors and I'd come home and I'd watch that show all the time so these sneakers came out LA Gears and I wanted the pink and white ones and they were all colorful you know with this pink and white if I can find a picture I'll, I'll put it over here but anyway so I wanted these LA gears and I begged and pleaded because you know my family didn't have a lot of money like my mother didn't make a lot of money so I got one pair of sneakers a year and I begged and pleaded for these sneakers and they were like 50 or 60 dollars and that was considered a lot for you know our family or whatever and I got them and they had pink and white laces and you could put the laces in one at a time or you could put them in together and I went to school, I think it was like the first day or the first week with my pink and white LA gears. Okay, so I get on the bus and you know, I guess it was my turn to get picked on. And this chick like screamed from the back of the bus, oh, look at that girl, looking like Punky Brewster. And you know, very negative and like all the kids laughed and I felt like this big. So uh, what happened was I, the next day, like that night when I went home, I cried to my mother and said, can we take them back? I was so upset and she said, no, you know, a black mama who spent her money, you're gonna wear those, you're gonna wear them. And there was no love lost and I wore those sneakers after that. And you know, she made fun of me for a while and then she, you know, stopped. But you know, my self-esteem was blown with my LA gears. And hindsight's 2020, and it's so funny what goes around, comes around, because I was like the little chubby kid and, you know, uh, dressed very awkward. I was tall, you know, at a young age, and I was very awkward. But what happened was, fast forward years later, and I was cute years later, right? And I met this guy and we were kind of kicking it a little. And I went to his house and he like, his room was in the basement of this house. And um, you know, far past, I don't think this girl ended up going to my high school. So this was like far past high school. I hadn't seen this girl in 20 million years. And this guy was her brother. Yes, her brother who I had never met before. And when I went over there, she opened the door door and oh my god she looked a hot hot mess yes a hot mess and it just goes to show how small Boston is and I just walked in there with my head held high 
because you look a hot mess and I look damn good. Oh, it was just priceless because the scar of those LA gears just live with me forever. And she bullied me for other reasons too. And a lot of other kids. So you know what? Karma is a bitch. Karma is a bitch. So that's my bullying story and my what goes around comes around. I have a lot of goes around comes around. I might make that a series. Um, like, comment, subscribe, and holla back.